wonder what in hell scares people about talking about America's foundation of faith. We had to face George Washington uh, and his legendary physical power. Uh, you'd be scared too. There really is no evidence to support that. America's a Christian nation. She'll be here to explain that. Okay. They, they, there really is no evidence to support that America is a Christian nation. That, of course, is dumb. Now, a few weeks ago, Sarah Palin said this. The American A leader declared that America is a Christian nation. All right, the governor joins us now. So why do you think America is a Christian nation? Uh, you can just go to our founding fathers' early documents and see how they crafted a Declaration of Independence and a Constitution. Go back to what our founders and our founding documents meant. They're quite clear that um, we would uh, uh, create law based on the God of the Bible and the Ten Commandments. It's, it's pretty simple. Okay. So it's ironic that here on the National Day of Prayer, you know, there's so much controversy about whether or not we're uh, a nation that's built on Judeo-Christian beliefs and whether or not we can even talk about God in the public square. Well, all I have to do is walk into the Supreme here. Court chamber and you'll see the Ten Commandments and, and you know, so we, we know that you're absolutely correct. All I have to do is walk into the Supreme hearing. Court chamber and you'll see the Ten Commandments. And, and you know, so we, we know that you're absolutely correct. So we, we know that you're absolutely correct. All I have to absolutely do is walk into the Supreme hearing. Court chamber and you'll see the Ten Commandments. And, and you know, so we, we know that you're absolutely correct. So we, we know that you're absolutely correct. The Founding Fathers did base um, not only the Declaration of, in, of uh, Independence, but the constitutional uh, protections on what they thought was right and wrong. And what they thought was right and wrong came from the Ten Commandments, which is Judeo-Christian philosophy. That, that is beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, uh, listen, branded with nasty labels, Christians were bad for business, thrown in the prison of Rome, and officials gladly made us public spectacles, tied us to chariots, burned up our flesh, the Romans thought that was hilarious. Times were perilous, they scattered us into various areas, embarrassed us, the catacombs is where they buried us. But now the heathens love us, you know that got me thinking, could it be that we lost a ounce of our distinction? Ah, if we have, Father, I pray you bring us back to the place where we fix the eyes of our soul. Oh, Founding fathers did base um, not only the Declaration of, in, of uh, Independence, but the constitutional uh, protections on what they thought was right and wrong. And what they thought was right and wrong came from the Ten Commandments, which is Judeo-Christian philosophy. That, that is beyond a reasonable doubt. Uh, Go back to what our founders and our founding documents meant. They're quite clear that um, we would uh, uh, create law based on the God of the Bible and the Ten Commandments. It's, it's pretty simple. Look at our national motto, In God We Trust. Every state constitution acknowledges God. The statue of George Washington sitting in a chair like a great god. This is a guy who used to sit on top of a white horse in the middle of a battle and he never got shot. They thought this guy was God. They thought this guy was God. And they respected him, and as you said in your intro, he was almost godlike. That's a painting in, the, on, in our capital today. Can we Apotheosis is actually a Latin word. Here you see George Washington, and um, he's sitting on a throne, and he's becoming godlike. What is the significance of this? It's just encouraging people to be spiritual. You can pray to a tree. You can be a deist. I mean, you know, uh, founding fathers of some yeah, of the more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and let's talk a little bit, because people say, oh, no, he was a deist. He didn't really believe in God. He was a crazy, white, rich, slave owner deist. When you, when you look at him this way, is this saying that he is God, God, God? We have him here. Was this controversial to raise him? <laughs> Oh,
And so we back cross. Who is that making that noise? Yeah, it's us again. Who? The ones who sharing this rain and suffering. How? Since he died, we died, he rose, we rose with him. Oh, like them first century Christians who scared with him. Who is that making that noise? Yeah, it's us again. Who? The ones who sharing this rain and suffering. How? Since he died, we died, he rose, we rose with him. Oh, like them first century Christians who scared with him. We're following Martin Luther, models important truth to a generation that just would use an arts to do it. People are marching to the beat of the drum, the evil of some gave Jesus his people a visa to run. Charge the trees up a sum, but they ain't cower out like Nicodemus had done. Please believe that the reason was pleasing the sun. The squeeze of persecution gave the heathens a reason to come. Who is that making that noise? We ain't quiet about them. We preach Christ today and quiet about them. Watch, we got an eye on the outcome. Both genders both are declaring. He is the eye of outcome, therefore we bear our cross. If we suffer, we reign. Suffering is momentary, like getting stuck with a train. Just preach it, you ain't gotta be up on the slang. Present the truth to Jesus Christ, till it's stuck in your brain. Who is that making that noise? Yeah, it's us 